Well, now a wind turbine made of wood has begun supplying electricity to the Swedish grid. Great material, right? But steel is very heavy. And with this material, we can perform the same task, but with 30% less weight and with more than 100% less carbon emissions. The world's tallest wooden wind turbine tower is now operating in Sweden. Yes, you heard me right. A wind turbine made from wood manufactured by, by the wood technology company Modvion. It is not a science fiction, it's already started providing power to Sweden's grid, and it's now sending power to 400 homes in Sweden. Lighter than steel, these towers offer many eco-friendly benefits. However, they also can lead to some risks, as we will mention later. Also, we will address the burning questions about wood suitability for wind turbines and debunk durability concerns, offering you an inside look at the sustainable future that Modvion is pioneering. But before we explore that, please ensure to hit the like button, share this vibe, subscribe to my channel, and comment with your view about using wood instead of steel. Now let's get started. So why to use wood instead of steel? Steel is certainly robust and durable. It has permitted the construction of massive turbines and wind farms both on land and at sea. But steel has limits, particularly for land-based constructions. As wind turbine towers are practically empty on the inside, there is opportunity to expand the capacity by thickening the walls. A laminated wood material can provide greater strength per weight and greater strength per cost than steel equivalents. It is not just a superior option for today's towers, but as turbines progress toward higher capacity and taller towers, the benefits of wood grow even more. As the need for higher turbines that collect stronger winds with larger generators has increased, so has the diameter of the cylindrical steel towers that support them. Wooden towers will make it much easier and economical to build really tall towers compared to steel. Many in the wind business claim that in a world of road tunnels, bridges and roundabouts moving those massive pieces of metal to turbine sites has become a tremendous hassle thus restricting how tall new steel turbines can be. Most importantly, wooden wind turbine parts can be recycled much more iser than hard steel. So, what are the main aims of the Modvion startup? This Swedish wood technology company Modvion is undertaking the ambitious Wind of Change project, constructing the world's tallest wooden wind turbine tower in Sweden. This groundbreaking tower is set to stand at an impressive 105 meters, reaching a total height of 150 meters when factoring in the turbine blades. The tower's structural components consist of laminated veneer lumber, a robust yet lightweight wood variety. Waterproof paint coats the towers, ensuring their watertight integrity. This protective layer contributes to a controlled internal air volume within the solid wood tower, enhancing stability and combating humidity. Modvian asserts that the laminated wood strength and lightness enable a lighter tower compared to conventional steel counterparts. The tower's modular design facilitates easier and more cost-effective transportation, eliminating the need for lengthy permit procedures as it can be transported on standard roads. Atop the tower, a 2-megawatt wind turbine manufactured by Danish company Vestas is being installed, marking the first application of Modvion's wooden tower technology with a Vestas turbine. But how come wood is suitable for wind turbines? Modvion's adoption of wood for its wind tower holds significance in reducing carbon emissions during manufacturing. The wooden tower is carbon negative, absorbing more carbon dioxide than it emits during production thanks to wood's natural carbon absorption capability. Modvion compares life cycle emissions, revealing that a 110-meter tall steel wind turbine tower emits approximately 1,250 tons of carbon dioxide, while its wooden counterpart emits 90% less emissions, totaling 125 tons of carbon dioxide. Concerns regarding the longevity of wooden wind turbines compared to their steel counterparts are addressed. Despite steel sturdiness, wooden towers present an advantage with their non-hollow interior allowing for thicker walls without significant added space requirements. The laminated veneer lumber material used by Modvion offers comparable strength to steel but with less weight, 
making it a cost-effective and weight-efficient choice for contemporary wind turbines. So when this wind turbine will be operated, the good news is that the world's tallest wooden wind turbine has started turning. It's now sending power to 400 homes. The two megawatt wooden wind turbine sited outside Skara, northeast of Gothenburg, was built for the electric utility Varberg Energy, while it's just started sending power to Sweden's grid. While wood is susceptible to burning, Modvian's design incorporates dense, solid logs, providing potential fire resistance. The laminated veneer lumber, often likened to nature's carbon fiber, is crafted from modular parts, including cylinders ranging from 16 to 24 meters in height. These cylinders are assembled on site, akin to building blocks stacking to form a tower. Scandinavian spruce, an abundantly available and sustainably harvested material, serves as the primary wood source for this groundbreaking project. Modvian's business model makes use of the qualities of wood and wood laminates in all settings. The advantages are numerous in this case. It is now feasible to build taller towers than ever before using modular wooden frameworks, allowing more power to be extracted from each wind turbine. Furthermore, because the materials are lightweight and modular, logistics are simplified. When compared to steel and concrete towers, CO2 emissions are also dramatically reduced. While wooden towers for wind turbines offer promising advantages in terms of sustainability and carbon sequestration, they come with notable challenges. One primary concern is the structural integrity and durability of wood compared to traditional materials like steel. Wooden towers face potential issues related to fire risk, susceptibility to decay, and the effects of prolonged exposure to harsh weather conditions, especially in offshore environments. Additionally, questions arise about the long-term performance and reliability of wooden structures as they need to withstand dynamic loads and vibrations generated by the rotating blades. Engineering solutions must address these challenges to ensure the safety and longevity of wooden wind turbine towers, making ongoing research and development crucial for the successful integration of wood as a viable material in the renewable energy landscape. So what about the possibility of fire? If the conditions are favorable, wood burns quickly. A solid wood construction, on the other hand, is extremely difficult to ignite due to its density. In solid wood buildings, the exposed side would only begin to burn at a highly predictable and regulated rate. Steel softens at high temperatures, therefore, wood retains structural integrity longer than steel. So please share your views about having such special design for wind turbines by wood. Do you think it is good or bad approach? That is all. Please ensure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more content, and activate the notification bell to stay updated.